Welcome back to the flip flop fab shop. Um, so my U joints have been when you would put it in reverse, they would squeak and make all sorts of noises. <clears throat> um, so I knew I needed U joints, and that went on for probably like a year. Um, but it didn't affect anything else. Um, so I ordered Toyota U joints. As I drove it to work, I ordered them on like a Sunday, and then on Monday I drove it to work, and it was just as soon as I left the driveway, it was making noises. So here's all the stuff I ordered. Uh, which ones? These are the front U joints. Um, I bought mine from Toyota. They're a little more expensive that way, but um, so I got. I think the fronts were fifty eight fifty eight dollars a piece, and the rears were like fifty nine dollars a piece. In Oklahoma, at a dealership in Oklahoma, so. But I think normally they're like eighty dollars. That's Toyota's price, but depending on the dealership. It can vary. So here's the front. This is the part number for the front. Okay. Right here, two. And then here's the rear. It's part number for the rear. And the rear U joints are bigger. So I want to say, what was the front? So if the cap here. So what you want to do um, to figure out what U joint you need, the front ones, the cap here, this way, the diameter is 29 millimeters. Then in my case, the rear is 32 millimeters. So the cap's three millimeters bigger, I think. Um, apparently, some of them had 29 millimeters on the front and the rear drive shafts, but I measured mine. That's how you verify. And the rears were 32. So that's what I ordered. These come pre, they come filled with grease, but I'm just gonna let the drive shaft stop do all that. Other parts I got is this stud, this nut, and I got these caps dust caps as you can see one of mine fell one of mine just fell off one day so I got a new one and this side beat up a little bit so I just decided why not they're four dollars each so I just ordered two new ones um, and then that stud I got that stud and that nut is for that see that one back there the second one right there when I did my front axle rebuild my Burfield rebuild two years ago for some odd reason that I'm um, stud like stripped and the nut was kind of stripped when I tried putting it back together I don't know if there was just like a bunch of gunk in the threads and it couldn't Anyway, it's stripped. Um, I didn't want to try to chase it or anything. And then get a new nut. It just, this was like a dollar from Toyota and this was like a dollar from Toyota. So I figured I would pull old stud out. I still have the cone washer and the, yeah, the cone washer and the railer washer, I believe. I think that's the stack up for it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Let's see if we can hear the U-joints. I'm going to put it in reverse. No, didn't hear it that time.
on, guys. Playing some Screamo. I don't know if you can hear that. But I'm going to spray these with PB Blaster. I don't know if these will ever come off. I doubt it. I bet these are the originals. So when I mentioned the size, I measured from here to here with like a set of calipers. So so this cap is 32 millimeter, and so is this cap. And then uh, that one's 28. So. All right, so what I did to get the drive shaft out is I put the truck in neutral. I put, so I chalked off some, like three out of the four tires, whatever you can do for, anyway. Um, you're gonna need a wrench. Try another one to put in there so you can like extend it. And then a 14 millimeter and a 3/8 socket, and then an extension also helps for this job. Um, what I did is I started by marking the drive shaft. Um, and then I undid all the bolts up here. I have one left. I kept one on for each side. Um, this side is, has studs, so all you gotta do is take a, your ratchet to it. This side is like this, and you have to get your ratchet on one side and a wrench on the back side. So this is the transfer case side. This is the rear drive shaft. That goes to the transfer case, this goes to the rear diff. Now this side is, you know, doesn't make any noise, but come, come here on this side. So this is to the rear diff. That's where all my, I guarantee there's needle bearings that came out somehow and they're just grinding on each other. And I was driving on the highway like this on Monday. That's no bueno. So that's the culprit right there. I just got the front one out. It's significantly smaller was easier to get out so that only took an hour to get both out so, so I took my drive shaft to the drive shaft shop but while it's while I'm waiting for it I'm gonna go ahead and paint these guys black you can see it's painted black so I'm gonna do the same Alright, while those are drying, I'm just going to take this off. Um, the way I do it is I just get a screwdriver. You can see this one's seen better days, so. Figured I'd just replace both of them. I'm gonna put some grease in here. And then I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna use a piece of wood on top. Actually, I can probably use a big socket. I don't know, but that's how I'm gonna put them on. Uh, put some high temp grease in there and then I got this 42 millimeter socket I'm just gonna stick it on there and hammer it well got them on I used the socket but 
don't paint them black, just leave them silver. Cause so I dicked them all up. So, but better than nothing, so. Also got my drive shafts back. Way better. I'm excited for this. So I got both shafts in. Oh, I'm just tightening them by hand right now. Well, like hand tight. So I found some specs. It said 54 foot pounds for the front and 65 for the rear drive shaft. Um, since I'm using this half inch to three eighths adapter and an extension, I'm gonna bump up each by four. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's wrong, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do front at 58 and rear at 69, I guess. All right, so my word of truth, got everything torqued down, putting it in gear. Didn't cluck in the drive yet. I'm gonna go up here and put it in reverse. so good getting on the turnpike here they're real rocket ships probably didn't know that oh yeah okay so on this lower knuckle stud that had threads that were galled um i just used some vice grips gosh just use some vice grips and loosen it just like you would a nut in it i mean i don't know what this was torqued to but mine came out pretty easy so we're just gonna keep backing it out of there all right the old one's out And here's the new one. It has this hex on the end. And there's a part number for it. Now here's the corresponding nut. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in real quick. So for the new stud, you need an E12 socket. And there's no torque spec, but it's gotta have something. So I'm gonna do like 15, 10 foot pounds and we'll see what happens. And then all these need to be torqued to 70 foot pounds.
get it started by hand. You don't want to, you don't want to mess those up. That's pretty snug. Okay, now get your washer and your cone washer. Put them in there. Get your nut. This is a new nut. My old nut had the threads were galled and the stud was too. That's why I'm replacing everything. Now I need to torque all these to 70 foot pounds. <sighs> Apparently. That's what I read online. So that could be false, but. I'm gonna go I'm gonna get this one snug first. Okay. Stuff shield's in the way. Okay, that one's seventy. <sighs> Seventy. 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 she wrote I'm glad I was able to get it out with vice grips because that would have been a pain if I had to weld nut on or something um I got a few more things I need to do to the Land Cruiser I still need exhaust hangers I need to do the distributor o-ring tires um I think I figured out what tires I want thinking about the Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws all terrains not mud terrains I um, think they'll probably be a lot better on the highway and quieter these suckers are loud um, I'm also thinking about doing some diff the extended diff breathers for the front and rear and also the extended brake lines I'm thinking I should probably do those also. Just can't hurt anything and then flush the brake fluid and everything. But she's coming along pretty nicely in the month or two that I've been working on it consistently. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.